And Robbie Floyd has caught up with Danica. Robbie? Yeah, Danica Patrick in the GoDaddy car. Were you surprised with that speed you were turning? It looked like that wasn't the same car we saw in practice. Um, I, I, I'm really happy with the last couple laps. I was able to hold it flat. Those were the first laps I've held it flat all day. So <laughs> um, it was, uh, it's just, it was, it, the, the car we do, we still need to do some work to it. But, you know, I think that given those last couple laps and kind of what I felt, I feel like I can give my engineer some, some more direction as to what which way we need to go with it. Um, but but I guess at the end of the day, I, I am pretty happy with that, and it was a big improvement from this morning. Speaking of work, you were working the tools in the car as well. It wasn't just a drive in the park. Um, yeah, I, I did work the tools a little bit, but, um, you know, uh, not as much as probably some people have. But, uh, yeah, I was chasing it a little bit. Um, it's just, man, that bump in one and two is just so big. It's so deceiving what it's what's going to happen with the car on the other side of it. So, you know, the GoDaddy car is in a decent position right now. We'll see what happens as it goes. SP3 right now, the number two car of Rafael Matos on the track.